Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another music video reaction. Continuing our conquest into the greatest pop songs of all time. Any song that I might deem eligible or otherwise absolutely is in consideration for the list, however big it will eventually be, as I explain in the exposition of every one of these reaction videos. And it includes sleeper hits too. Like, for instance, we just did yesterday a reaction to Demi Lovato's Dancing with the Devil, which only hit number 56 on the Billboard Hot 100 and 39 on the Adult Top 40. Sleeper hits are eligible as well. So this time we're tackling Leanne Rimes' I Need You, a country pop single released in 2000. Leanne Rimes was only 18 years old at the time. She's, I'd say she's maybe more well-known for her singles Can't Fight the Moonlight and her pop breakthrough How Do I Live. So I Need You was a single from Jesus, music from and inspired by the epic miniseries. So it's a Christian pop song, though looking at the lyrics you could easily interpret it as, you know, you know, you could easily devote it to a loved one, you know, a romantic partner, whatever the case may be. So let's just go over the chart performance. Number 11 on the Billboard Hot 100, almost the top 10. Number 2 on Adult Contemporary, almost top that chart. 34 on Adult Top 40. And number 8 on the Hot Country Songs chart, which would now be Hot Country Airplay. Or, or yeah, or just Country Airplay, rather. Year, year End, 44 on the Billboard Hot 100, 9 on Adult Contemporary, 27 for Country Songs. And number 5 for Hot Soundtrack Singles. And also, it it was it was such a big hit on Adult Contemporary. It still cracked the top ten in two thousand one on Adult Contemporary year end number seven, certified gold here in the U S. So yeah, so just, just lay some ground rules. Um, this probably this is one of those songs that probably wouldn't come to mind when you're discussing the greatest pop songs of all time, regardless of how big that list will be. But again, sleeper hit songs that could be considered sleeper hits are, again, eligible. So let's dive in and see what we have. Make sure it's loud enough for you. couple of things that stand out um first of all for a christian pop song that was done for a christian uh jesus uh, biblical uh tv show she is sure flaunting her sex appeal here <laughs> and i was again as you could tell at the opening i was gleaning through uh the wikipedia page uh one reviewer said that in the music video she uh kind of acts like celine dion a little bit um, but yeah, she definitely flaunt. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just an interesting observation. I think that like it's a Christian pop song, or at least that's what it's primarily marketed and described as. And she, uh, has, uh, no qualms about flaunting her sex appeal in the music video. Um, but again, with, with open-ended lyrics that you could easily devote to a romantic partner, as opposed to just God or religion or whatever, you could definitely get away with it. Um, Definitely oozes 2000, early 2000s pop music with the da 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 vocals in the background and like some of the sounds of sound effects and little bells and whistles and production that goes on. It's like it's it's premium country pop. Like when you think of country pop, you think of Taylor Swift, Keith Urban, Rascal Flatts. 
this definitely exists in that same space of like having one foot in each door or having one foot in each camp, whatever you want to, call, whatever the right terminology would be. Um, it's, it's, it's a very interesting song. Um, or like it's an, it's an interesting composition, an interesting arrangement. Um, let's, let's continue. And her vocal runs are good too, and that alto is really graceful and pretty. White is washing my face out. <laughs> Why is she sticking her tongue out? It's, it's a good song. Um, between the performance itself and the music video, she really went for fucking... <laughs> she went for a career-defining moment. It definitely was a big, at least from the charts, like number 11 on the Hot 100, number 2 on Adult Contemporary, top 10 on uh, Country Radio. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it was a bigger hit than, um, like, like, the chart performance suggests it was a bigger hit than you might be able to say it was. She definitely went for career-defining moment with her performance and the music video. I mean, and again, she's flaunting her sex appeal. She's sticking her tongue out. I thought this was a Christian pop song <laughs> or a Christian country pop song, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a again, yeah, it's a good song. Interesting arrangement to say the least. Um, and she's got a great voice. You know, there's a little bit of a timbre in her voice. You know, that alto is very is a very pretty. It glistens, you know, some of the runs are good. Some of those whistle vocals at the end are, are pretty great. Um, yeah. Again, again, I just keep, I keep coming back in my, in my head. The sex appeal and the, the, the very, um, very grandiose, um, performance, both in terms of the actual song and the music video. Like she, I, like, I can't say it enough. She went, like, she, she turned what was, supposed to be just a song for a soundtrack and again what well, was kind of a sleeper hit compared to some other uh, other songs that had maybe better charts of success on hot 100 or adult contemporary or whatever and she dialed up the performance to like, like with perhaps uh, perhaps another artist not saying i can name one off the top of my head but if perhaps you gave this arrangement to another artist particularly at that time early 2000s it could have been for another artist a career defining performance because um, that, that's how seriously she took it. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. I will, let's see, let's do a letter grade. I'll give it like a B plus, maybe an A minus. Not, not, not the most, um, I don't know. Like it's pretty, pretty damn good country pop. Just maybe not, maybe absent of the staying power of other artists in that niche, certainly Taylor Swift, chiefly among them. But it's a good song. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this reaction, please leave a like. Uh, hit the bell to get notified next time a video drops. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.